Hey everyone, it's Bailey. So today I'm going to be doing just a super cash chit chat get ready with me because there is so much going on right now and I really just want to talk about it with y'all, get your feedback on what's going on, you know, let's just have the girl chat. Yes? Yes. Also, I got some new makeup and I want to try it out with you guys because that's always fun. So it's going to be like testing new products slash girl chat. It's going to be a good time. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm first just going to do eyes, and for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my new Too Faced Natural Lust Palette. I picked this up during the sale, and I've been using it actually a week or so now um, for work and stuff, and I'm really liking it. So this is what it looks like. Lots of neutrals, but a couple colors. It's fun. I like it. So let's first prime, and I'm just using my Tarte Prime, no, Lorac Primer. And the look I want to go with today is something more like soft, diffused, effortless. We'll see how that turns out. So I'm just going to go ahead, play with makeup and chat. I'll be sure to list all the colors I'm using down below. Okay, so we have to talk about what is going on right now. The whole Tati James situation. Oh my god. I came home from work Friday and I was hanging out with a boyfriend. Sorry, the cat is purring or whatever. Do your cats make bird noises like that? I'm not a big cat, like, aficionado. Um, but this one, he makes bird noises. Is that normal? Let me know. Anyways, I came home from work Friday, caught up with Tyler, and then we were hanging out and I was like, oh, let's watch YouTube videos, you know, see what's going on. Usually we'll watch, like, cooking videos or something. But now I saw Tati's video by sister and I was like, oh, we're watching this. And he is one who has like strong opinions and he had no opinions on this. He was like engulfed, which is saying something because usually he's one to like call out somebody if they're being like sketch, you know, he didn't call out Tati. So, and yes, you best believe we watched the whole like 43 minute video and I gotta say, at first, I was like, ooh, Tati, why are you bringing this, like, right here? Because, you know, you have a lot of power, as demonstrated, and it's, like, a bold move. But then I thought a second longer, and I'm like, uh, yes, go Tati for sticking to your guns, making the move, doing what you had to do to protect yourself. Maybe I've just been watching too much... Uh, like Survivor, Amazing Race, and like Big Brother and stuff where I'm like it's all kind of strategy and it's either eat or be eaten. It seems like it's one of those situations where it was either, you know, hope that nobody's going to twist your truth or you just speak your own truth. And if I was in Tati's shoes, I probably would have done the same because, I don't know, I'd rather just like get my truth out there without number one waiting too late or just not doing it at all and you know just see how people take it and if they accept it great if not well you know it's your truth and that's fine and you guys already know I'm like a Tati fan I've been watching Tati since I remember the first video I saw of hers kind of of hers yeah it was of hers of when James proposed and I've been hooked ever since. She's one of the few YouTubers that I still watch that are, you know, big YouTubers that have over like a million subscribers. Her, like Kathleen Lights are the two. Well, and does Casey Holmes have over a million? I think she does. I watch her too. So those are like the three. And I just think she is relatable and is like big sister I never had but would love to have. And that's another thing. If all of this is exactly as Tati says, which I feel like what does she have to lose? Well, she has a lot to lose actually. But I feel like, you know, when you're of a certain age, you just, it's not worth it to lie, right? And what she's, I think like 37-ish. So I don't know. She, I don't think she's into the whole idea of like playing games. Like she's just past that point of her life, right? Now I don't know Tati, so I can be completely wrong, but I just don't get that vibe from her. Like I feel like she's just like a no-nonsense, like this is what it is. I don't have time for like silly petty stuff, even though this was a little petty, but like I kind of loved it. Anyways, I gotta say she really just like put it all out there, which is so refreshing. It was really only a matter of time. I don't think anybody was expecting it to be Tati, but I like I love that it was Tati. And I love that she just like let it all out there, spoke her truth, did her thing. I appreciated it. Now with all of that said, can you believe that like yes you can believe I, I don't know there's so much it's like nobody's surprised but everybody's surprised right all at the same time first of all can you imagine having a mentor like Tati who's literally giving you this kind of like on a silver plate 
asking for nothing in return, but just like, you know, mutual support and then not valuing it for what it is or like, I don't know, thinking you're too good for it. And I mean this in any field, having a mentor that insightful and that willing to help you is very rare. Very, very rare. And James seemed to not fully like appreciate everything that she did for him. Straight up. And also, can you imagine being James at this point? Where I believe he was, um, what, in like Australia or something? So literally on the other side of the world in a totally different like time zone. Waking up to all of this. I would freak out. I would literally just like cry. Just cry. Just straight just cry for a good like hour. And then we'll try and figure it out. Also, his apology video. Did we not learn? I don't know why it's so hard for people to make a genuine apology. First of all, he did it like way too soon. I don't even think he had time to fully process everything. But his apology was just like, I don't know, I feel like he was a little bit numb, which like I get. But you need to like wait. And this is just for everybody. If you do something bad, just wait a second, take it all in, really kind of figure out where you went wrong, acknowledge it. You're allowed to take your time and kind of figure out where you went wrong and reflect and just actually get something out of this versus just trying to hustle away and just be like, I'm sorry, let's just pretend it never happened, brush it under the rug, let's move on. Because that's not actually like effective, right? And yes, we have to talk about his whole like straight boy situation. Honestly, I think he is one of those people that's very just like he wants to win, like he's super competitive. And I think for him it's less about like the end game and more about the chase, right? And so he probably just thinks it's like fun, which is messed up. By all means, like it's messed up. But imagine being somebody, and this isn't like an excuse, but I'm just saying, imagine being in that position where you're like 18, 19 years old, you're a millionaire. Ugh easily a couple times over more than a couple times over and you have that much power and not a lot of people in your corner kind of checking you and being like bud you need to pull it back nobody should be surprised I mean think about it for a second imagine if you were that age with that much influence that much power that much money what would you be doing oh my god I would be spending money like crazy I probably would have dropped out of school. Would I? Yeah, I probably would have. Would have moved to like a big city, gotten a nice apartment, and just like pretend to live my best life. Probably wouldn't have saved enough. Most definitely wouldn't have saved enough. But I mean, it would have been like a hot mess. And I think I was a fairly responsible young adult, but you know, money can change up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do face. I know, so exciting. But I think that's kind of what it comes down to is not enough people were like checking him on his like nonsense, you know? And also when you're that age, you think you like have it all figured out and you kind of know like what's going on. And I can only imagine it's heightened when you have like a successful business and you're like doing things right. But even so, uh, you do not. So I think it's important to have people in that corner and or in your corner rather and I think Tati and James was trying to be that person for him, but he wasn't listening. And then that goes just back to like having such a good mentor and not valuing it and not like listening to that person and like taking what they say truly to heart. That's just like, oh my God, if I had a mentor like Tati, uh, I mean, I would just want to be like her friend. Oh, I'm using my new Wander Beauty Nude Illusion found foundation and I don't have a brush well I guess I don't have a sponge but I have a brush so we'll use this brush because I don't feel like getting up okay now let's spin it back on Tati can you imagine putting this video out there which I'm sure was already like hard decision be like you know you're going to you know make a speed bump if you will for this person's career and but hopefully you're gonna like get through to them because I'm sure she just felt like she needed to do something big for him to actually like see it versus just like normal conversation and then again the whole eat or be eaten thing but I have a strong feeling she did not even imagine that this amount of subscribers that he's lost 
was going to happen. Not to mention the amount of subscribers she's gained. It's like a total flip. And if I was her, I'd be just crying too. Because I'd be like, oh my god, I've potentially ruined somebody's full career. Because I'm sure, like, she didn't mean to do that. I feel like that would have just been very, very mean. <laughs> like, very mean. And I don't see Tati doing that on purpose. And with that said, I don't think James Charles's career is over. But this is, like, way more than a speed bump. This is more like a 10-car collision. But... I don't know, could you imagine seeing that and be like, oh my god, I did that to somebody and I'm gaining from what I did to somebody. Like, I feel like that's just, maybe I'm just a good person. I don't know, but I feel like that's just would be hard to fully comprehend. And I know today's Monday and her tweet that she sent out today, I don't know, I sound like a drama channel. Oh my god, but I do like to like keep up with stuff like this because I think it's fascinating. But regardless, her tweet today was actually very insightful. Let me see if I can pull it up quickly. She basically said that there wasn't going to be a new video today because her heart was too heavy. But the sentence that really got me was celebrating pain will only bring it to your door, which I think is so, so, so true. And also just goes to show, I don't think, you know, anybody was expecting all of this to happen because this is like insane. I mean, this puts the whole like Laura Lee and Manny and whatever they did last year, like what? What? Crazy. I totally feel like I'm just talking in circles, but that's just like how my brain works. We're just like going like this, but there's just so much to take in. And I'm very curious to see what you think. Did you unsubscribe? Were you even subscribed in the first place? I know I personally unsubscribed because like I'm Teen Tati. So there you go. And was anybody even really surprised that this, you know, came out and this was the truth, if you will, and everything that's kind of happen from it like was anybody actually surprised that this is how he acted and this is how he you know came off to his peers and like I don't know I'm I'm honestly not I just think he's you know a young kid which you can't use age as an excuse but it's more or less a fact he's a young adult who has way too much money and way too much power and not enough supervision uh oh I got too much concealer over here ruh row, ruh row. But for me personally, yeah, no, I'm not surprised in the slightest because, I don't know, I just feel like it's so obvious, right? Oh, and also, did we even talk about his apology video? Like, not really. We kind of touched on it, but not really. That was the worst apology. He, like, he couldn't even cry. I mean, again, he seemed very numb, but it was just, like, he felt like he just had to say something and do, like, emergency damage control. But, I don't know, at that point, if I was him which I'm not, I'm grateful I'm not because this is uh, too much. But if, if I was him, I would have just been like, I need to go, I need to cancel everything, refund all the people, like do what you gotta do, get home. I would go straight to Tati and just be like, I am, s well, no, first you need to actually like reflect and see things for what they are and actually, you know, decide if you're sorry or not. Like, you know, and figure out what's going on, where you went wrong, where you might have gone right, and go to Tati and have a true, like, come to Jesus moment. Now with all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner, mascara, brows, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I went a little heavy with the eyeliner today, so don't mind that. Um, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up using my NARS Laguna. I don't really feel like contouring today, so we're just going to bronze. Anyways, I totally forgot what I was saying before, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this like whole situation, because I just think it's so fascinating, and it's also a good lesson to everybody, just like in general, knowing that anybody can fall. It doesn't matter how high you are, how low you are, you can fall, which is honestly very, very scary, but a little motivation for, you know, being a nice person. Because really, if James was, you know, a good person in Tati, then none of this would have happened. This would have been just, like, all peachy keen. But he was not. And now, like, other people are even coming out being like, you know, we don't support this. Which I wonder if it's just because they don't want to be, like, on the wrong side or because they have an actual reason. Next for blush, I'm going to be using my Pillow Talk blush from Charlotte Tilbury. My skin is so dry right now. Oh my gosh. And I can't quite figure out why. I haven't really changed anything in my skincare routine. And I mean, it's not super humid quite yet, but it's getting pretty humid. So I don't know what's going on. Just falling apart, man. Falling apart. 
Okay, and for highlighter, I'm going to be using this one from Persona Cosmetics. This was sent to me, which was super sweet of them. But it's their Cali Glow Highlighter in the shade Laguna, which is a very interesting color because it kind of has like a goldy green shift to it. Ooh. It's definitely very pretty. Cool. And for lips, I'm first going to go in with a little bit of gloss because, uh... My lips are so dry. And I think I'm going to go in with this gloss from also Persona. And this is in the shade Peach. Okay, so I don't really like that. So let's uh, find something else. Nothing against the gloss. It's just I don't like this color. I feel like it needs like a lip liner or something underneath. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the Bare Minerals Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boss. And I'll go over that with a little bit of the peach gloss. I will say the glosses smell very good. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. I like that. Cool. Alright everyone, so that's everything for this little chit chat get ready with me. I'm sorry if it was literally all over the place. I'm afraid to edit this because I really do think I was just talking in circles, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, and don't forget to leave your opinions down below. And I'd love to see what you guys think of this whole situation. But uh, yeah, that is everything for today. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.